Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel. Some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading. Click on that and that will bring you to the... Uh, start of the reading this section is really for those that just kind of burr to see me shuffle on the pad okay as i always say please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if this isn't your story if i don't pick up on your story stick around as you know sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own realities. So I'm just going to pull, uh, take these in, and I'll be back. So, Leah, let's start your reading. And just, of course, there's extra cards, as you guys can see. I just needed to clarify uh, some of the cards here, hence the extra cards. So take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always just flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking at your past, we're looking at the nine of pentacles, which talks about advancing. And this is the, the state of the past relationship or connection, I would say. So... There's something around this connection or relationship advancing, moving to the next level, moving up a notch, uh, even entering into another cycle of the connection. It seems like for you, just with your thinking, uh, with the two of ones there, there seems to be a, a conscious decision that you had made around it. Um, I feel like it's to do with, we've got the high priestess there, so we feel like this to do with, again, maybe being exclusive or getting engaged or deciding to get married and maybe moving in together but there is this decision around um, higher commitment in some way shape or form and it and we've got the two of ones twice so this is like a uh like we're emphasizing the decision that's been made here with the eight which brings around this uh put it in work so okay i've made a decision about this and so now i'm going to put in work i'm going to give this connection or this person what it needs in order for it to blossom or move into this higher commitment type of space here. Your person was a bit hesitant. There's, there was hesitancy there with the Knight of Cups. Moving a bit slower, I would say, than you are or than you was. Again, this is the past. And that's simply because we've got the Page of Pentacles. That's simply because there's this uh, maybe awareness, something around moving in a new direction or going down a new path in their life and that path or that new direction is maybe different um, it's still a focus and a drive that they do have regarding this connection but there is that awareness of this that new direction that's taking place so there's a there's a bit of slow moving energy around that like i said still have the passion still have the desire for that to happen but it's just they're moving a bit slower, or they was moving a bit slower. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. Uh, we've got the five, which talks about a loss. I feel like it's coming from it's coming from this person more so because we're, we're going back to this new direction that they were slow moving in. This person's showing up as the A. So there's something that they are moving away from, something that was meaningful, something that they have either not been able to complete uh, maybe a, a final conversation, that type of thing. But definitely something that they're moving away from that was meaningful to some degree. And it's definitely having an impact in terms of the current... Again, we're going back to this this loss here. Maybe because of that, because of this process that they're going through. And it's a process. I feel it's very much a process. And you'll understand what I mean when we kind of move into the other cards. 
because of this process that they're going through is having some form of impact on this relationship, on this connection, which means that it's taken a loss in some way, shape or form. You're picking up on, on, on it. It's like maybe you're intuitively connected to this person. There's some form of intuition, messages, thought processes or impression that you could be receiving there just in terms of picking up on what they're going through, what's going on for them internally, which is causing you to be protective uh, with the seven there. A lot of passion, not desire, but protective as well. Protective of this relationship, protective of this person, maybe from outsiders. Maybe there's a few people that have a lot to say about maybe what you guys are doing, what you guys have decided to do. <laughs> However, this... What's in your challenge is the Ten of Pentacles making this happen. So this is, for instance, so this is this is like, and it's causing a burden as well. It's a bit of a burden. Okay, so this is, I'm giving you an idea of what this kind of means. So for instance, if you set a day on a wedding, a wedding day, you know, you very much working towards that, moving towards that. With this person going through what they're going through, it's kind of maybe slowed that down and had an, in, an impact on the day or the timing of this wedding, that type of thing. It's like you're kind of getting a sense that, you know, am I going to have this? It's a, it's a burden. There's something around having this, having that Ten of Pentacles, and, but that's on a tangible level. It's not an emotional fulfillment. It's more about uh, exclusivity or moving in together or marriage, that type of thing. That's in your channels. So there's a burden around that, a burden around having victory when it comes to that. I don't feel like you should worry, though, or... Um, second guess the decision that you made like I said I feel like it's more about this person going through a process because they are very much focused on this opportunity that this relationship this connection brings um, with the ace of pentacles there focusing on the opportunity to build something to give to this as well their challenge is only around look five around coming out on top when it comes to just this Thing that they're moving away from or this lifestyle that they're moving away from or these people or person or something it's finding it a bit challenging coming up with a solution in order for them to be able to start to see or think positively they're just in the crunch of things which is why these emotions are raw so yeah i don't feel like it's enough for you to question though you shouldn't question might slow things down a bit understandably this person is going through it We've got the, the Three of Swords here, which talks about, and this is in their want. So this is either representing fear uh, or past pain or past hurt. Again, we're going back to what they're walking away from or something that they have to leave behind or something that they have to let go or drop or end. And there's naturally some maybe hurt around that or just uncomfortable, we'll say hurt. Let's just say hurt. However, there's realization, there's a, a, a realization around that for them, which is causing them to enter or be in that King of Cups, which talks about maturity, is level of maturity, um, level of maturity in order for them to process their emotions, in order for them to handle their emotion, these emotions, whatever emotions that come with that for them, they're able to handle that in a mature way, balance their, yeah, emotions, because there is this feeling of things turning around in their favor. It's just like cutting the cords. It's like, okay, I've got to grow up. I feel a bit nervous. I feel a bit uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to do it. For you, it's like, okay, we've got that king of swords. It's like, okay, how am I going to move consciously being aware of? I'm going to use to clarify that. Let me just clarify that, uh, Leo, for you. I just want to get a bit more. If you can, let's see. Yeah, what? Is there going to be a focus on what? Okay. Yeah, it's like you have to be a bit more conscious, a bit more strategic, a bit more thoughtful in terms of how you move or handle this situation because there is a bit of confusion. And that's only because it's tying back to this second guessing or burden that's coming up for you with the ten of pentacles but like i said this is resonating with you like i said 
don't be. It's just a process that they're going through. So uh, that should calm that for you. That should calm that for you. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. There won't be a part two to the reading at the moment, guys. Just do some tweaks to the website. So just bear with me. Um, but other than that, hopefully you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, and I shall see you next week. Bye. Thank you.